Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we will see how to configure IPv4 interfaces. Here we will use the two routers 1941, also one switch 2960, also uh, entity device. We will rename these devices. This is R1, here we have R2. Here we have S1, this is PC0. Now we will add a WAN interface CAD on these uh, routers. We will put it off and here we will add this uh, serial high speed WAN interface CAD and switch it on. Coming to R1, right, so now we will do the connectivity use a copper straight through coming to R2 we will connect to G0 slash 0 to S1 G0 slash 1 then from S1 FA0 slash 1 to PC0 then we will use a serial DCE from R2 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 now we will label all the ports we used on these devices here we used serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on R1. On R2, here we used the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And on R2, here we connected to G0 slash 0 to the switch S1 uh, to G0 slash 1. Then here this PC0 is connected to FA0 slash 1. Here uh, we will consider this uh, router R1. Uh, here we can see uh, we used the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this router R1 and which is connected to uh, the uh, router R2 on the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Also, we can see uh, a LAN interface on this uh, uh, router R2 that is G0 slash 0 which is connected to uh, the switch S1 on the interface G0 slash 1. So here we will see how to configure IPv4 address for these interfaces. So here we have seen a total three interfaces on these uh, routers uh, R1 and R2. So here all the beginners can understand uh, how to configure these IPv4 interfaces uh, on our Cisco routers. Here if we consider this topology we can see a total two networks. We will highlight those networks and we will plan an IP address. I mean we will plan a network address for these uh, networks. So here we can see those networks. Here we can see uh, one network. Here we can see the second network. For this network, we will uh, use the network address as a ten dot one dot one dot zero slash twenty four. And for this network, we will use uh, 172.16.1.0/30. Now, first of all, we will assign IP address uh, for this PC0 from this network address what we planned. Uh, that is 10.1.1.0/24. Coming to PC0 desktop IP configuration. Here we can see uh, IP address. Here we will give 10.1.1.10. Here we can see the default submit to mask of A class. Uh, but here we given uh, the prefix as a slash 24. So we have to change this submit to mask. 255.255.255.0. Uh, default gateway. So here uh, we will give a 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. 
this default gateway we have to set uh, for this interface uh, g0 slash 0 on this uh, router r2 now here we can see all these devices are connected to uh, this interface g0 slash 0 on this router r2 so the default gateway for these devices will be the ip address of this interface g0 slash 0 we will do that first we will set the ip address for this interface g0 slash 0 uh, on this uh, router r2 coming to this uh, router r2 cli before coming to the configuration we can see the running configuration using the command show running config here we can see the default host name and here we can see the interface g0 slash 0 uh, we did not set any ip address and here we can see by default it's uh, shut down so we can see all other interfaces here also we can give a show ip interface brief and here we can see all the interfaces on this uh, uh, router ip address method status and protocol we will go to global configuration mode configure terminal here we will set the host name as r1 now we will set the ip address for the interface uh, g0 slash 0 so we have to go to that interface for that we have to give you the command interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 now we can see uh, the prompt here r1 config if this is for interface so just i will exit and here we can see we'll put question mark and here we can see interface select an interface to configure right so we will give interface so here we can see we have the interface gigabit ethernet so we will give that then we have to give a gigabit ethernet interface number we have zero slash zero now we have to set the ip address for this interface so we will check for the command to set the ip v4 address here we can see ip so interface internet protocol config commands we will use this command ip then here we can see address set the ip address of an interface now we have to give a b c d uh, that means ip address uh, for octet so here uh, we plant 10.1.1.1 then we have to give the ip subnet to mask so it's a slash 24 is a prefix so we have to give the subnet to mask 255.255.255.0 so we have to press enter now we will press ctrl z and we will save the configuration copy running config startup config we will verify the configuration using show running config and we will go to that interface here we can see g0 slash 0 ip address 10.1.1.1 here we can see the submit to mask and here we can see it's shut down so if you observe topology here we can see it's still down Also, we can verify using show IP interface brief. And here we can see IP address we set, but status we can see it's administratively down, protocol also down. So we have to bring this interface up. We have to go to that interface again. Configure terminal interface a gigabit ethernet zero slash zero, and we have to give a shutdown command here. So here we can see. This interface is down now the link between s1 and r2 is down so here i'm going to give a no shut command no shut down so once we press enter here we can see the changes now here we can see uh, the link between s1 and r2 is up now we configure this interface g0 slash 0 on this router r2 now we will verify the connectivity we will ping from pc0 to its default gateway 
coming to PC0 command prompt to here we will ping to 10.1.1.1 this is the default gateway of this PC so before that we can verify that uh, a default gateway using IP config slash all and here we can see the IP address we can see the subnet mask here we can see the default gateway we set for this PC so we will ping to this uh, default gateway 10.1.1.1 and here we can see we are getting the replay now we will configure the serial interfaces uh, on this uh, router R2 as well as R1 so here the one side will be DCE and the other side will be DTE so how we will uh, uh, identify this uh, DCE and DTE and then we have to set the clock rate in this uh, packet tracer if we keep the cursor here here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, here we can see a clock symbol that means uh, this side is the DCE side and the other side is a DTE but in the real time we cannot keep this cursor uh, we have to identify using the show command so we will identify this uh, DCE side using the show command so coming to uh, this uh, router enable here we are going to use the show command here we can see a command controllers interface controllers status right so here we are going to give that controllers and here we can see uh, the interface name we have to specify uh, here we use the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, we have to specify that serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and then press enter so here we can see the details interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we can see DCE V.35 and here we can see the default clock rate set same thing we can verify it on this router R1 using the command show controllers serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we can see it's a DTE now we will see how to configure IPv4 address for these uh, uh, serial interfaces so first of all we will come to R2 and we will configure serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 coming to R2 configure terminal we have to go to that interface it is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 then we will set the IP address here we will set a 172.16.1.1 then we have to give the submit to mask here we can see the prefix is a slash 30 what we planned so here we will give the submit to mask 255.255.255.252 then we have to give the not set command but here we can see interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 changed state to down why it so so here this interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 gone down uh, this interface will be up once we configure uh, I mean once we give the no shut command on this uh, 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 router R1 for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 here physically we can see the link between R2 and R1 is down so what we will do we will give no shut command on this uh, uh, router R1 for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we will verify that so we will go to that interface here we will set the host name as uh, R2 then we will go to the interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we will give no shut command and here we can see the changes now now we can see the link between uh, this uh, router R1 and R2 is up but here we did not set the IP address uh, for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this router R1 so we will set that IP address so now we are in a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 
here we will set the IP address so 172.16.1.2 also we will set the IP submit a mask 255.255.255.252 will save copy running config startup config now we will verify the configuration on this uh, both routers coming to r1 here we will give a show running config and here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 ip address here we can see what we set also we can give the show command show ip interface brief and here we can see the details of each interfaces here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 ip address status up protocol up also we can give the show command show interfaces then we can go to that particular interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we can see the details so this interface is up line protocol also up we can see it's connected here we can see the internet address 172.16.1.2 slash 30 and we can see the other informations here oh here we made a small mistake here we can see uh, here the, we given the host name as R2 but here we can see we labeled as R1 it's not a major mistake but still we will change it configure terminal and we'll set the host name as R1 copy running config startup config also we will verify uh, this R2 oh here we can see we given uh, R1 props we will uh, we'll go to global configuration mode and we will set the host name as r2 right copy running config startup config right now we will verify the connectivity between r1 and r2 so we will ping from uh, this R2 uh, to this uh, interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this router R1 coming to R2 here we will give ping to 172.16.1.2 and here we can see success rate is 100% also we can verify the configuration on this router R2 because uh, here uh, this side is the DCE so we have to verify the clock rate show running config and here we can see interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 here we can see the IP address what we set and here we can see the clock rate so it took automatically well it was a basic configuration for the beginners here we have seen how to configure IPv4 interfaces uh, such as uh, Gigabit Ethernet or serial interfaces. Friends, if you have any doubt in this uh, video, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and share with your friends. And if you like to get any video regarding any topic, please comment below. I will upload it. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our gmail thank you